Hi, my name is David Vogel and I'd like to talk about how the newspaper industry can reverse its current fortunes and become the iTunes of changing the world. Thomas Jefferson wrote in 1787 about the freedom of the press, the basis of our governments being the opinion of the people, the very first object should be to keep that right. And were it left to me to decide whether we should have a government without newspapers or newspapers without a government, I should not hesitate to prefer the latter. We need investigative reporting to hold those in power to account. But the internet means that the current business model does not generate enough money to sustain good investigative reporting. So we'll need to change the business model to match the rules of the internet. So what are the rules of the internet? Well, first of all, we want to create, not just consume. In fact, most content on the internet is now produced by us. Second rule, it's difficult to charge for stuff online. You either have to give away your content and get paid by advertisers, or use the freemium model. Third rule, people use the internet to connect with stuff they're passionate about. Their friends, their hobbies, their politics. So how does all this translate to a new business model for the news industry? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Newspapers have to allow their readers to do something. In practice, this could mean that, for instance, in reporting an injustice or a natural disaster, Newspapers would also start reporting on local people helping the victims. And if you're reading that report, you can actually make a small donation to help those people, right there and then. This system already works with PayPal donate buttons on various sites, only right now the, the, the button isn't in the same place as the story is. If newspapers would bring the two together, then that would mean that anyone could share the story, which is the free bit, but that would then direct traffic back to the website, where people can make a difference and make a payment and the newspaper could take a small percentage of those charitable payments in exchange for the service they provide which is a financial service. Also newspapers should provide more sophisticated feedback mechanisms so readers can respond immediately to political statements and events. It's democracy 2.0. You see whilst I'm not sure I want to make a micropayment to read a story about African child soldiers I'm definitely sure I want to make a, a micropayment to help African child soldiers. And it's in this way that newspapers can become the iTunes of not of music, but of changing the world. In order for us to trust the newspapers enough for this, quite a few things need to happen. The industry will need to become more open, more accountable, and more thorough in their checks and balances. And they will also need to check up on each other. But these challenges are not new. The same issues surround government and other sources of power. But in this case, the accountability will have to be directly to the public, which in turn means that the public will itself will have to take more responsibility. So the time has perhaps come to prove Thomas Jefferson's point and place the ability to change the world directly into the hands of the people. And to help make this happen, newspapers will have to look beyond their current business models and finally embrace the way the internet works.